I have this LG compressor model LUV200R and let's do a whole bunch of airflow, suction, and airflow box tests. So let's start out initially with just the raw fan airflow and suction. So all filters out. Let's see what it can do. Incidentally, this thing draws 12.8 amps, and my voltage is actually running high these days. I think I'm at like 123 volts, but 12.8 amps, that's a lot of power. So we're at about 125 CFM just from the main motor. So let's see what we can do for suction. And I think I'm gonna change the camera angle so you can see this better. Okay, raw suction. And I need to come over here and block the suction relief valve because that blows, I think somewhere around maybe 100 inches or so. So let's see what we can get. All right, I have to take a look at the video, but you know what? I think that hit a solid 120. It might have gone a little bit beyond that, but. Uh, that's the highest suction I've ever measured from any vacuum I have. And even, I think the DC-14 uh, hit pretty close to that 120 for a raw motor spec as well. So this motor is very, very strong. Now I've put the canister in, but all the filters are still out. Everything, even the filter and the canister, and of course the HEPA filter itself. So what I want to look at here is specifically how much airflow is lost from the raw motor to the input of the bottom of the canister right there. Okay, 3208. So we're down to 84. Oh, that's just terrible. What a loss. So, you know, looking like, like mid 120s, like say, what was it, around 125? Down to, I mean, like close to, to 85. It gets a little lower than 85. So you're talking over 40 CFM loss from this. This is a really inefficient canister. I think it's the least efficient canister that I've come across. All right, so let's do a suction test. I'm wondering if you can actually see that from here. 
All right, let me uh, let me get you a little closer. see that I'm gonna have to review the footage and come back with a number now let's see how much airflow we get at the end of the hose and I have this hose completely and totally stretched out I know it's a little awkward and you'd probably never use it this way exactly but that's how we're gonna do it here because I'm being consistent with all the rest of my tests And there's a little tiny hole right there underneath that I have to plug to get maximum airflow. Probably won't make that much difference, but every little bit helps. with no filters whatsoever. I'm looking at 71.4 CFM. So it's gonna be a little hard for me to figure out how to do the suction because I have to somehow, well, I'll figure something out there. All right, let's see how we do. This is going to be kind of awkward. I, I thought that I saw 94. Now what some of you have been waiting for. We're all taped up on the airflow box all filters out so let's see what this does now this is um you know going to be unrealistically high because there's no filters in the machine and just for my reference my test voltage under load is running 122.1 right now <laughs> Brush roll off, we sat at 11.6 amps. So, how much airflow do we have? Sixty-four CFM, no filters in, and the brush roll not spinning. I don't think that's gonna make a whole lot of difference with the brush roll spinning, but let's give it a try. So we're just going to turn the brush roll on. to 12.7 amps with the brush roll on. Of course, it's not under any kind of load. So 24, 21. And we're looking at 63. Okay, so 
I wasn't really expecting um, a whole lot of difference and there really wasn't one. Now let's actually go and put the filters in and we'll do the brush roll on and off. Now I have all the filters in, well, just really all two of them. So let's see what this does. We'll start with brush roll off. See, 21, 26. So 55 and a half, I mean, close to 56, but that doesn't round to 56. That goes to 55. So now let's try it again with the brush roll on. Five amps. So let's see. And we're still at 55.5. So uh, no change. And because this has a separate motor in it, I wouldn't expect it to change. But there you go, about uh, mid 50s or so CFM. However, of special note, that brush roll is huge. I, well, the, the opening itself. We're talking like 34 square inches, basically like Kirby size. And you know what the problem with that is? Really low airflow density. Really low airflow density. All right. Thanks for watching these incredibly dull and boring tests. More to come, so stay tuned.